praying for the nations. Uh, welcome to uh, Kevin as well. Thank you for joining in, Kevin. Uh, we're going to pray next for the country of Nigeria. I have a report from one of the finest news magazines uh, available. Uh, uh, that is Economist uh, International News Magazine. Uh, it's talking about the, the abductions and killings in Nigeria. Uh, do you know that in the year 2023, 3,600 people were kidnapped in Nigeria? 3,600 people kidnapped in the African country of Nigeria, the most ever. And uh, uh, the deadliest zone in Nigeria is the northeast part of Nigeria, where Islamic jihadists uh, and jihadist links with the Islamic State attack army and villages. And there's been a fighting going on in Nigeria. We do not, it doesn't get much of press, uh, but there's a fighting going on uh, between Muslim herders and Christian farmers. Muslim herders and Christian farmers. And we need to pray for God's peace in that land. Uh, Abuja, the capital, and uh, we need to pray for President Bola uh, Tinubu. Uh, if you remember the name, fine. If you don't, that's all right. Uh, that God's hand will be upon Nigeria and also for the churches, for the young people, for the women, for the people kidnapped, uh, some um, the women kidnapped. God knows what, what harrowing experiences they have, go, have to go through. That God will bring about a change as one of us. We'll pray for this briefly and pointedly as this Holy Spirit leads you. Please pray. Come on. Lord, Heavenly Father, Lord, we come into your presence again. Lord, Lord, we give Nigeria into your thy hand, of oh Father, Lord. Lord, the Bible says, the oh Father, Lord Jesus, to love one another and to consider others better than ourselves, oh Father God, Jesus. But this act of oh Father, Lord Jesus, Lord, it is... It's it's against your word, oh Father Lord. Lord, I pray, Father Lord Jesus, that you will put your word upon in their heart, oh Father Lord Jesus. Lord, that this will come as their law, oh Father Lord Jesus. This will become a strict law, oh Father Lord Jesus, in their country, where this gets stopped, oh Father Lord Jesus. Lord, we pray, Father Lord Jesus, that your hand will be upon them, oh Father Lord Jesus. And Lord Jesus, you will protect the people, of oh Father Lord Jesus, from this evil act, of oh Father Lord Jesus. Lord, we pray, Father Lord Jesus, that you will enable your word come true, oh Father Lord Jesus, and you will put your word in their hearts, oh Father Lord Jesus, that they will not do such inhuman act, to oh Father Lord Jesus. Lord, we give entire Nigeria into your, thy hand, oh Father Lord. Lord, we pray for the development of the country. Lord, that all the famines, all the darkness, all the wicked things, everything will be, un Lord, will be taken in your name, oh Father Lord. The more the gospel spreads, oh Father Lord Jesus, the more... Lord Jesus, they come to light and the wisdom of the Lord, the wisdom of the people will grow, Father Lord. Lord, let your word spread full-fledgedly, oh Father Lord Jesus, that, oh Father Lord Jesus, that these people will turn away from their inhuman act, oh Father Lord. We give everything under your thy hand, through Jesus' name. Amen. And yes, as Sir Pavitra has prayed, uh, you know, God is working. We, we see that in Acts chapter 12, when the church prayed together, you know, God intervened and Peter was released. And even now, as we have prayed, uh, I believe uh, even kidnapped people in this country are being released right now. And other wonderful things are happening. And I appreciate this uh, passionate prayer. We need to keep praying. Uh, we will also pray next for the women of Japan. Again,